go ahead and speak, Michael. All right, so it's Michael Smith here live from Independence High School in San Jose, California, getting set to broadcast the CCS Boys Volleyball Division II final. That's right, the Central Coast section getting at it tonight. We have the 24 and 12 yeah. Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish out of the city, San Francisco, California, taking on the 24 and 7 Mount Madonna Hawks out of Watsonville. Mount Madonna coming into this one as the overall one seed in Division II. Meanwhile, the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish are the three seed. And both teams have had an interesting ride on how they got to this point. For Mount Madonna, they had to go up against Willow Glen. Well, first off, they had to take on Eastside College Prep, who was the ninth seed. And in that game against Eastside College Prep, as we get to it now, here we go. And they, they, oh, wrong one. There we go. Out of the sound card. I mean, I have it in, I, I, I know I've got it in the right place, but it's got a, a connection out of that ground loop thing. It's a plug then that goes into the audio cable and it's run up to the camera. Um, I don't know, I'll worry about that in a second. Does he want me to still keep talking? No, no, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got, I've got him, I've got him on here, so I think we're okay. Okay, all right, Jeff. All right, we'll try, thanks. All right, thanks, bye. Okay. I do not. I don't know. That's you. He does. I wish there was a way I could kind of calm him down. What's the deal? Did they get 
We did. And you got here late? Or, I mean, traffic is such a bit. No, no. Actually, I mean, we got here with good enough time. I mean, at first he was... Yes, yes. Um, at first there was a... <laughs> There was a cord Hi. that he didn't have, and then someone here had it. And I think it's just, you know, I know I was stressed. I'd be stressed out, too. I think so. Should be. What's going on now? Is it fair child or fair childs? Fair childs. Okay, perfect. Kirsten or Kirsten or? Kirsten. Kirsten. You seem very stressed, sir. What is going on? Can we help you? Can we be of assistance to you? No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. You're welcome. If for some reason I can't see because the down umpire is in my way, I am going to make you switch places with me. Was that testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Chris Lee. Chris. No, I can't see. And I'm by the PA and All right. Michael Smith here. Wait, how can I turn him down a little? Turn me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, which one am I? You, you Just in my headset. You not. not. What? You want to hear him less? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Michael Smith here, live from Independence High School more. in San Jose, California. A little more. And... Uh, we're Keep talking. Set. We're getting set for the Division Two Championship here between the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish and Ooh, the better. Mount Madonna <laughs> okay, Hawks. Cool.
How many? How much pregame do you guys have? Not too much. I mean, if anything, I want to do starters in the pregame. It's always so hard to get all that stuff in. Yeah, um, starters. So starters yeah, can we come cool up for a pregame and step away? Yeah. For the national anthem. Do you, did you get starters? You want to handle that, or you want me to handle uh, that? No, you can handle that. That's okay. fine. And uh, Mount Madonna's one, right? Where's this? How come I don't oh, have the Mount Madonna? Can, do you have this one of Mount uh, the Mount Madonna? I just have Bellarmine for some reason. Um, it might be in your if you have. Uh, I never got a program. Okay. If yes. I could get a program. Here we go. Leo. Oh, oh, hey, look. He gave us one for each, so I had the division two. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. So everything you need might be there. You can take that packet if you want. Okay, thanks. And I'll make sure you get the other. So, uh, da -la blah, 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 Second Higher Cathedral. Hey, Julie, how's that going? When you um, I'm not working. This is in Santa Cruz County. The stream's live on the internet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it is. Sure. He just. All oh, right, and there's the kill. CIF Central by Coast Jake Getz. Jake yeah. Getz gets up in the air down. for that one. This one? No, not. Oh, you're. Okay. Was that good enough? Testing one, two, three, Mount Madonna, the number one seed. So it, do I ever say play on sports or no? Yeah. We're all CIF Central Coast oh, no, TV. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what always confuse. We're not online, are we, right now? Because I always got confused because I'm like, uh, so of why am I wearing a play on sports? You're home for CIF uh, Central Coast TV, part of the play on sports network. Part of the play. Oh, I'm writing on this so you have it too, uh, Mike, when you get okay. play on sports network. Okay. We're pretty much, I mean, well, those, those ones are for the announcers, right? What? This is... This is not for me to say on no, air. No, no, no. These are the ones. These are the ones we're going to be saying on no, air. No, yeah, but these are just those little tidbit things that we say every yeah. once in a while that aren't like. That oh, we're oh, right, You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, like right, you're, right. you're what you know. Yeah. Let your friends know. Okay. 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 So yeah, you go. You want to come up, Michael Smith? You ready? Sure. Wait, where's my Dan? One second. Okay, so we're going to go on in now, and then I'm going to give you five seconds to count in. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Ladies Thank you. Thank you. The way it's gone, it can only go well. Okay, here we go. Going on end now. Marking in in five, four, three, two, one. You're on. From San Jose, California, Dan Fukushima Fieldhouse on the campus of Independence High School, the site for the Central Coast Section Boys Volleyball Championships. Two matches tonight, Division One, Division Two. We are starting with Division Two, the smaller enrollment. The number three seed has made it through the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish of San Francisco, taking on the top seed, the Mount Madonna Hawks of Watsonville, California. Hello, everyone. Alongside Michael Smith, I'm Kirsten Fairchild. So glad to have you with us. Michael, we have a full slate of boys volleyball tonight. I expect we'll see a lot of power, a lot of finesse, a lot of control, and a lot of desire. Yeah, definitely desire will probably be the key word to roll with between both of these squads. You have uh, the Sacred Heart Cathedral fighting Irish who have fought their way to get into this championship game. They've uh, had to take on Soquel in the quarterfinals and then beat Pacific Collegiate in the semifinal round. And, and that's how they've gotten here. And, and then you have Mount Madonna who now their school only has boys volleyball as the only boys sport going. So this is a school in which they kind of live, breathe, and die boys volleyball. I was talking to head coach PK McDonald prior to the mat, prior to the tonight's match, and he said that uh, you know you could uh, you could make it equivalent to about a small town with a really big high school football team. You know the whole town's interested. Um, a lot of alumni have played the sport, and so it's going to be very interesting to see uh, whose desire. Uh, reflects more on this court tonight. Both teams, uh, you know, have a, a history of being good at boys volleyball. Sacred Heart Cathedral has never won a CCS title. They're looking to pick up their first one tonight. Meanwhile, Mount Madonna celebrating their 10th anniversary of their only CCS title that they won back in 2002. Mount Madonna, part of the Santa Cruz Coast Athletic League, and yes, back in 2002. The only team to ever win a CCS title from that league. Conversely, Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep, well, part of that ultra-tough West Catholic Athletic League. Doesn't matter what the sport is. And as Michael mentioned, the Fighting Irish still looking 
for their very first CCS boys win. Michael, tell us how Mount Madonna earned its way to this final match. Yeah, Mount Madonna came in here as the uh, number one seed overall in Division Two, and they knocked off Eastside College Prep, who was the ninth seed in the quarterfinal round, 25-21, 25-20, or actually in three sets, 25-18, 25-15, and 25-17. And then they took on Willow Glen in the semifinal round, and Willow Glen being the fifth seed, and they beat them in four, uh, four games, 25-16, 24-26, 25-19, and 25-23. So uh, Mount Madonna, like I said, you, you always hope to see the number one seed still there uh, if you're appears to the game. Sometimes you like to see the underdog come through, but this is where Mount Madonna feels they should be. They, they felt like their team was good enough at the beginning of the year to make it to this point, and, uh, and so did a lot of the other teams from that uh, Santa Cruz County Athletic League. They felt that this was going to be the toughest team, uh, not only in their league, but in, in the CCS Division II, and they've shown it. And meanwhile, for Sacred Heart, a team that has, like you said, had to run the gauntlet in their league. I, you know, I, from my advantage point, I'd say that West Coast, uh, the West Catholic Athletic League may be the best league overall in the Bay Area. Uh, it's definitely right up there with the East Bay Athletic League for athletic supremacy, but um, yeah, they've had themselves a pretty tough schedule and have made it to where they are at tonight. We'll see who comes out on top. Absolutely. You are watching CIFCentralCoast.tv. Let's get to the starting lineups. The Sacred Heart Cathedral prep. Fight and Irish 24 and 12 overall went 6 and 6 in West Catholic Athletic League tied for third with Archbishop Mitty and St. Ignatius following behind second place Bellerman and first place St. Francis Lancers of Mountain View will have the Lancers on later on. They're starting outside hitters. Jarrell Celestial, a 6 foot 1 outside hitter, a sophomore. The other outside, Nicholas Daly, the six foot outside. He will be graduating within the month. Starting middles, Eric Long, six foot one junior, as well as Stephen Tan, the six foot three junior. The right side is Gabriel Gonzalez, five foot ten cent, uh, uh, senior. And the setter, Ryan Nevera, the five foot six senior setter. We're going to step away, be right back with the opening serve of the Central Coast Section Division II Boys Volleyball Championships. Back at Independence High School, let's get to the starting lineups for the Mount Madonna Hawks, the top seed in the Central Coast Section Boys Volleyball Championships. The starting outside, Jake Getz and Dan Fust. Getz averaging 18 kills per three-game match. And the opposite, Kabir Aluwalia. The two middles, Willie Bryan and David Bros. The libero is Rudy Hooven, and the setter is Ryan Alfaro, and Ryan Alfaro makes this offense run. Again, the setter, he is headed to UCLA to walk on in the fall. Let's get to our officiating crew. crew. Referee number one is Kevin Long, the Wiley veteran. A lot of time up in the stand, a great officiating career. Referee two is Chris Lee more casually referred to as the down ref. Linesman one, Dennis Kino. Linesman two, Lance Knoll. Kirsten Fairchild's Michael Smith. Sacred Heart Cathedral, the lower seed, wearing 
white tops with green numbers and green shorts to the right of the official table. And the Mount Madonna Hacks in their traveling black uniforms, all black with white trim, white numbers, and Mount Madonna on their backs. And conversely for the Liberos, opposite colors for both teams. Mount Madonna to serve left to right. Getting underway is Joseph Fradiani. Fradiani spinning the serve. The first whistle has blown. Up in the air, jump serve. Handled in the right back. Quick set, right side. Block is there, comes back over. Chicken wing from Sacred Heart Cathedral. Ball on the fight in Irish side. Out of the back row, a hit. So very competitive first point. Left side attack from Mount Madonna. Blocked by Sacred Heart Cathedral. Out of the back row, hit. Punched up from the back row, fight in Irish. Left side, it hit from the right side. The first kill of the match. Winning that long rally is handled by Gabriel Gonzalez, the 5'10 senior. Yeah, Gonzalez doing a nice job there of just staying calm, uh, playing through the rally, and when he got his shot, he found that open spot on the floor and killed it for the first point in this match. Steven Tan to serve first. Up 1-0, serves from the right side. Handled in the back, we're running the quick, but the block is there, the solo block by the fight in Irish. Eric Lung, the 6'1". Junior giving his team a 2-0 lead. Eric Lung playing long as he gets up top, makes the block. The junior up front. And right now Sacred Heart storming out to a 2-0 lead early. Tan goes again. Running the quick shoot set over to the left side. Speared. But no, the whistle blown into the net. So credit for the guilt. kill will go to Mount Madonna. But the fight in Irish front row into the net. So Mount Madonna with its first point is heading... Back to serve is Dan Fust. Fust trailing 2-1. Along with his Mount Madonna teammates. Taking his time, stays on the floor, delivers a bullet. Shanked a bit, setter has to travel. Out of the back row, hit. Touch from the Mount Madonna front line. Setting their offense. Left side attack and a double called. Fust had to set. And an illegal set called. So Fighting Irish sides out with a 3-1 lead. Yeah, and you just have to be smart and aware of where you're at on the floor and, and the kind of touches you have. And an illegal set there from Mount Madonna gives the ball to service right back to Sacred Heart. Ryan Navera with the serve for Sacred Heart Cathedral. Mount Madonna in their possession, a hitting error too long. So 4-1, the team from San Francisco. Navera, the setter, serves again. Middle back, pass, left side attack, going tip, nobody home. Great adjustment by Jake Getz, finding some open real estate. Yeah, and that's just Jake Getz being Jake Getz, and this is the guy that you have to account for every time he's around the ball for your sacred heart because you never know what he's going to do. He is the main point getter for this Mount Madonna Hawk squad. Willie Bryan with a jump serve for Mount Madonna, trailing 4-2. Three drill runs the quick, but dug by the Hawks. Libero with the pass, it's an overpass, and Mount Madonna punishes it. This time it's David Bros, the Frenchman. Yeah, and Robert Manoos uh, maybe serving it, setting it a little too far ahead for his team. Is instead of setting it to his team, he set it really over over the net and to Mount Madonna. Brian serves again, right side attack by Fight and Irish, great spear by Fust in the back row on the Fight and Irish side of the net, left side attack. Excuse me, right side attack handled by the Hawks. Left side attack by Mount Madonna, too sharp of an angle. So another hitting error from Mount Madonna. Sides out for Fighting Irish up 5-3 here in set one. And boys high school boys volleyball, best three out of five, plays to 25, win by two. If there is a set five, it will go to 15, win by two. And the first service error of the game goes error is delivered from Sacred Heart Cathedral. Mount Madonna with the serve, Alfaro. But an uncontested swing from the left side. Jarrell Celestio gets his team back out in front by two. Jarrell Celestio, one of only two sophomores on this squad, and he comes through with a laser for his team to give them a two-point advantage, 6-4. Libero serves for the fight in Irish. Mount Madonna runs the quick and a bit of a miss hit, but David Bros will take it. Kind of didn't get a full swing on it, but it's pulled the Hawks within one, trailing 6-5 and set one. Yeah, David with his patented dink shot there, just barely getting it over. 
Gets with the serve, high toss, big jump serve, but it is service error. And Gets called the aggressive server, the most aggressive server on this team by the head coach, P.K. McDonald, also goes by Kai McDonald. And his counterpart tonight is Na Tron, a female coach for the Fighting Irish in her seventh year. And a lift call by the libero on serve receive. Rudy Hooven, the libero, overhead pass, but a little too much cuppage, if you will. And Fight Irish out by three. Mount Madonna still looking for its first lead of this match. Hooven goes again. Out of the back row. G Getz is set and just too hot to handle. Yeah, Jake Getz coming with the, uh, with the hot potato there. And... You can tell already he is fired up. He's had some good points tonight. He's also had a couple of hitting errors, but uh, you gotta love his intensity out there on the floor. Alex Hooven checks in to serve for Mount Madonna, trailing 8-6, first set. Mount Madonna not ready for the defense. The slide as Stephen Tan with the kill gives the fight and Irish back that three-point cushion. Yeah, and this match so far, just when Mount Madonna tries to muster up enough uh, Enough courage to, to sustain a rally of their own and get some points. They just can't do it. Sacred Heart continues to kill every one of their rallies off. Celestial with the serve on the overpass from Mount Madonna and serve seed. Nicholas Daly punishing, and it's a four-point lead for Fighting Irish. Looked to be a pancake from Mount Madonna on the subsequent serve as it hit the net. Instead, it will be called an ace. So... Time out on the floor. P.K. McDonald calling a timeout. His top seed of Mount Madonna team trailing 11-6 in set one to the third seed of Sacred Heart Cathedral Fight in Irish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can watch highlights or a replay of today's game in our on-demand section. And you can also buy a DVD or Blu-ray of today's game right on CIFCentralCoast.tv. Click on buy DVD and you can order today's game right now. Have a game that lasts a lifetime. Brought to you by CIFCentralCoast.tv. And Kirsten, I was listening to the interview on BayPreps.com. They uh, had interviewed the head coach for Sacred Heart, that being Na Tran, about uh, the, the previous matchup that these two teams had earlier in the season in which Mount Madonna won in two sets. And uh, she felt that her team came out a little lackadaisical, but uh, fought hard. They didn't get the win, but she felt towards the end of that match that they were getting to where they needed to be against this Mount Madonna team. So it seems like they figured out what they what they, uh, what they they didn't do in the first game between the two this season, and, and they're out front. Celestial with the serve. Mount Madonna's passing, breaking down, and serve, receive, and the fight in Irish has. The Hawks all doubled up, and to that point, Michael, Mount Madonna beat Sacred Heart Cathedral in the Los Gatos tournament. It was the first match of the season and the first win of the season for the Hawks. Right side attack from Mount Madonna. Great blocking from F Fight and Irish. This side, left side attack from Mount Madonna. The block can't adjust. It's wide and fussed with the kill from the left side. Mount Madonna finally gets out of that rotation and sides out. Fradiani back to serve. What I'm starting to notice, uh, Kirsten, is just the difference in the up front, uh, the front line for both teams, it just seems that Sacred Heart's front line is a lot more prepared. And as soon as I say that, then the front line for Mount Madonna comes through with the block and the point. Ryan Alfaro with the block on the left side. Mount Madonna cutting into the deficit, now trailing by four. Fradiani jump serve, handled by the middle back, overhead pass. And Setter was looking to dump, and it would have been a perfect time to do it. However, the execution wasn't there for Nevera, and the Hawks are within three. Yeah, tried to go for the trickery there. It didn't work in his favor, and now Mount Madonna. Hopefully they can keep this rally going. Service error by Mount Madonna. It's second as Fight and Irish sides out. And back to serve is Tan, the middle blocker. Tan taking his time. Bit of a jump serve. Mount Madonna setter has to go dump because of bad passing. And But all things breaking down for Sacred Heart Cathedral. And the Hawks side out down 13-10 in set number one. And it seems like the timeout was just what the doc ordered here for this uh, Mount Madonna Hawks squad. 
Dan Fust to serve. His older brother, Chris Fust, a alum of Mount Madonna and a terrific volleyball player. Off speed hit, blocked. Mount Madonna now with the ball on its side, running the quick and with authority, Willie Bryan off a set by Ryan Alfaro. Looks like they might have practiced that once or twice. Mount Madonna within two. Credit that to Rudy Hooven, the uh, defensive specialist, saving the ball the first time around. Really gave a good set for that kill. Play back to live play in Sacred Heart Cathedral. That back line for Mount Madonna not moving up to handle, to cover its area. And Sacred Heart Cathedral sides out. 14-11, the Fighting Irish lead. They have led throughout as the setter Nivera offers up the serve. Left side attack. Going line, and in there is Getz. So it seems like Mount Madonna's offense starting to click. Yeah, and it's, it's, uh, they go to their number one guy. Well, Excuse me. Number two. Yeah, my, uh, my apologies. Outside the antenna across the way from us, and Sacred Heart Cathedral will hold on to the serve and the point. Mount Madonna runs the shoot and again catches Sacred Heart Cathedral off balance as the kill by Willie Bryant. So let's set the scene. Sacred Heart Cathedral... Seated three, up 12, excuse me, up 15, 12, but Mount Madonna with the serve. Brian to serve left to right in front of the official table. Jump serve, easily handled by the back row of Sacred Heart Cathedral. And in there, another untested kill by Eric Lung of the Fighting Irish. You really have to, like, Sacred Heart Cathedral is really finding the open spots on the floor. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's just their awareness uh, and, and their vision is a lot better than what we've seen from Mount Madonna so far tonight. Left side attack by Sacred Heart Cathedral. Mount Madonna fans saying it was outside the antenna on the right side. So our floor captain for Mount Madonna is going to come over to consult. And they are in vain. 17-12, the Fighting Irish beginning to pull away. Left side attack, too much. So some hitting errors from Mount Madonna compounding their problems. This time it was Getz with the miss, and once again, Mount Madonna has to call a timeout, trailing 18-12 in set number one. All right, folks, if you're looking for a great place to advertise your business while reaching the greater high school community, then you want to advertise on CIFCentralCoast.tv. We have great rates for your business while giving you the opportunity to get your message out to a very important demographic. For more information, give us a call at area code 619 677 Three, two, four, six. And a couple tidbits about Jacob Getz, who has been the most fired up guy I've seen out there on the floor. His favorite movie is any Marvel superhero movie because superheroes are awesome. And one of his most embarrassing moments was getting six packed by a free ball at the 2010 JOs. That must have hurt. Yeah. I love so the I'm saber guessing that's getting hit right in the abdomen. Right in the forehead, okay. In the face. <laughs> Sacred Heart Cathedral fans trying to start the wave. Only one side of the bleachers open here at Independence High School, so the wave wouldn't be able to go around if they tried, but nice school spirit by the green-clad fighting Irish fans. Out of the timeout, Sacred Heart Cathedral serving right to left up 18-12. Gets with the pass for Mount Madonna. Left side attack, block is there. Mount Madonna will reset. Gets with the big swing, took a little off it, but still enough power to earn the kill and the point. Checking into the front row, sorry, the opposite, Kabir Aluwalia for Mount Madonna is back now to serve Al Faro, and it's an 18-13 deficit for Mount Madonna. Great timing for the fight in Irish. Great adjustment by the setter, Navarro, keeping the ball, ball playing, and Lung just leaned into it for the uncontested kill. Yeah, and Lung coming off now to the bench and gets a lot of hand claps from both his teammates and head coach, Natran. Manoos with the serve for the fight in Irish. Fight in Irish now on offense. Right side attack goes off speed. Coverage there by Mount Madonna. Gets, gets set from the back row, goes tip. Coverage is there. Both teams looking well-versed at this point of the season, well-polished, and Gabriel Gonzalez's hit caught the net and dropped in front of the Mount Madonna defender and fight in Irish up 2013. Mano Os, who's headed to UC San Diego in the fall, delivers the service error, ouch. 
And now we get to see Jake Getz serve the ball. We haven't seen that so far tonight. We've seen him do everything else on the floor. This will be the first time he serves. Gets the aggressive server. High, high toss. Serves to the back middle position. Running the quickest, Mount Madonna. Gets can't dig it. Can't dig Stephen Tan. A seven-point lead for Sacred Heart Cathedral. They can smell the W up 21-14. Back to serve is Gonzalez. Both teams play a 5-1. Gonzalez, the left hand is serve. Hooven with the dig and running the quick is David Bros for Mount Madonna. So great pass by Hooven. Mount Madonna needs to clean up its passing and serve receive and Hooven just delivered. Yeah, it, I know you have to rotate in this game, but it, I'm telling you, I think the Hawks would love to see Rudy Hooven out there permanently because he has come through with some big time lifts for his team. His brother comes off, Alex Hooven comes in to serve and serves a service there, a third of the set for Mount Madonna and not a great time. That allows Sacred Heart Cathedral to serve 22-15. Celestial with the serve. Mount Madonna uh, running their offense. Bump set. Gets out of the back row. Doug easily running the quick is Sacred Heart to Cathedral. Good blocking by Mount Madonna, but the final touch is wide. And point fighting Irish two points away from a set one victory. Yeah, and the fans digging it. It's all green out here in the stands. It seems like Sacred Heart Cathedral's fans more in attendance than... Celestial serve pass by Getz. It's an overpass and doing what he loves to do is tan. S set point, 24-15, plenty of set points to spare as Celestial with the serve. Getz with the pass still tr having problems. But Mount Madonna able to run the quick and Willie Bryan with the kill. Set point number two as Mount Madonna checks in Pedro Aguirre to serve trailing 24-16. And now we'll see what the heart of the Hawks is all about here. How they can. Aguirre stays on his feet for the floater. Setter has to travel for the fight in Irish. Left side attack. The kill is there. Sacred Cart Cathedral has done it off the kill by Nicholas Daly, the senior outside. 25-16. The fight in Irish coming out, fighting hard and surprising Mount Madonna in set one. Yeah, they just uh, had great up front play. And uh, really, like you said, the, the vision and awareness from the Fighting Irish just a little bit better than the Hawks. We'll see if switching sides provides any kind of difference. Folks, if you want to have your game broadcast live, actually this is all to all the teams out there, anyone listening, if you want to have your game broadcast live on the internet and be able to watch it again and again, maybe again and again on demand while making money for your sports program, then you want to give your students the op or if you want to give your students the opportunity to create their own broadcast for your school's athletic events, then contact us at info at kbcsports.com. We offer season packages for schools, a full curriculum for your students, and an opportunity to raise up to $10,000 for your sports program. Again, that's info at kbcsports.com, or you can call us at area code 619-677-3246. And these schools differ in so many ways, Kirsten. They are both private schools, but you know, Sacred Heart Cathedral, uh, co-ed Catholic school, the secondary, second oldest secondary high school in the state of California, uh, a student body of roughly around 1,600, 1,250. 1250, yeah. And then you have, you know, Mount Madonna, and uh, do you have their numbers? Yeah, uh, uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral was founded in 1852, and as we mentioned, uh, uh, enrollment of 1250. Mount Madonna started in 1978, an enrollment of 64. So uh, Mount Madonna also has an elementary school, but in their secondary school, 64. And frankly, that's a lot for them. Usually they average just right around 50. And most of the boys in the school do play either on the junior varsity or varsity volleyball yeah, team. Yeah, I found it very interesting uh, when going through, you know, trying to get as much as I could about these teams, how Mount Madonna School is more about what the characters of the people that go there turn into rather than, you know, the, the smarts that they get. They're really trying to make these people prepared for the real world uh, mentally um, as far as their attitude goes and, and things of that nature, and just the, the you know, I, th I found it weird that they had pre-K all the way up to 12 in the same campus, but from what I hear, it's a beautiful campus overlooking uh, the Monterey coast, and 
Actually, yeah, it's uh, on the way from Watsonville to Gilroy over the top of Mount Madonna. In fact, uh, I'm sure their schoolmates who are in Washington, D.C. right now on a class trip are listening to us here on CIF Central Coast TV. A big welcome to our Mount Madonna Hawks listeners and, of course, Sacred Heart Cathedral Fight and Irish Sacred Heart Cathedral, the school located in the heart of San Francisco. Of San Francisco. A big Francisco. Fa- uh, hello to their fans as well. And back to the volleyball, Michael, a huge surprise. Sacred Heart Cathedral, the number three seed, barely got past the number two seed, a fellow Santa Cruz Coast Athletic League school, Pacific Collegiate, a charter school located in Santa Cruz. Uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral winning that one 15-13 in set five. So Sacred Heart Cathedral really coming off that challenge. Mount Madonna as well. The Hawks look really flat at this point. They're ser- not serving well. They're overhitting. And the fight in Irish, you really have to admire the blocking they've been able to put up on the big guys from Mount Madonna. Well, historically, beyond the game that they played this season, uh, Mount Madonna and, and Sacred Heart, uh, Mount Madonna has had it rough against West Coast Athletic or West Catholic Athletic League teams. Last year, they made it to the CCS Division II final and lost to St. Ignatius. Uh, in the D2 final. So I don't know if maybe that's hanging over them, the fact that maybe they feel that they can't beat a school from the West uh, Catholic Athletic League in a in a big game. But uh, whatever the case, hopefully I, they come back. Yeah, I would think perhaps it's more of Mount Madonna. When you only have 63 students, it's really difficult to consider yourself the favorite. I think you have that perennial underdog feeling no matter what your seating is. And... Um, Mount Madonna, as you mentioned, the school that really um, spends a lot of time on developing character. A lot of these, um, both the boys and girls, go on to uh, four years. They have a great graduation rate, rate as well as Sacred Heart Cathedral. But here we go, ready for set number two. Left to right, Sacred Heart Cathedral will serve first. Jarrell Celestial, the six foot one sophomore outside, who had a great first set, will begin things. And again, that game, that set one, won by the Fighting Irish, 25-16. So just waiting for our uh, referees to confer. And it looks like Celestial will get the go ahead. Celestial, bit of a jump serve, more of a hop serve. Dug by Fust. And running the quick is Aluwalia. And Mount Madonna needs to run more plays like that instead of just swinging away from the outside. Right. That, that's the one thing I noticed Sacred Heart uh, did take use to their advantage in game one was there was a lot of movement while the ball was up in the air, a lot of uh, pre-jumps. And you got to try to psych out the opponent. Mount Madonna, one nothing. Aguirre with the first serve. And just swinging away with no regard for his body is Tan. Tan had a great set one for fight in Irish, and he gets the kill to even things up at 1-1 and jogs back to serve. Fight in Irish trying to make a substitution. And, yeah, Tan's going to come running off like a shot as Brian Wurstel checks into the match for the first time. The 5'11 junior outside will serve. Stephen Tan, the tallest player on this team, 6'3". Wurstel with the serve, dug by Mount Madonna, passed by Mount Madonna, run the quick again, and it's Brian. So back-to-back quicks, run by Mount Madonna, 2-1. The Hawks finally have their first lead of this match. Brian Wurstel coming off the bench, and then maybe lagged a little bit as he was uh, trying to dive to deflect that ball from hitting the floor. Fuss with a serve, right to left. Mount Madonna up 2-1. Back set, off the slide. Mount Madonna digs it, and it is wide. So the slide successful once again, only the second time it's run. Daly with the kill for Fight and Irish, all tied up at two. And Gonzalez, good awareness of the floor to just let that one go as he knew it was going to be wide. Served by Nivera, the setter. Problems in serve receive for Mount Madonna. Reversed over. Fight and Irish go to work. Off the X. Blocked by Mount Madonna, most complicated play run, but Fight and Irish gets blocked by Mount Madonna. Gets hits from the left side, it's Doug out of the back row. Wurzel, it's Doug, Mount Madonna right to left, goes tip, and double hit called, and once again it's Brian with the kill. I love it when we have long rallies from these two teams because they're in such great fitness, and they're so polished, and they really make for exciting play. 
3-2, Mount Madonna. Brian back to serve. Left back position pass, running the X once again. Dug again by Mount Madonna. Reversed over. Fighting Irish with the free ball. Left side attack and miss hit. I think that was probably the most choice set Daly's had all night. He had too much time to think about it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> David Bros got up and played very big. The middle backer there making the block and gets the point. Hawks 4-2. Brian continues to serve. Service error. It's the fourth of the match for Mount Madonna. Conversely, to zero aces. Yeah, Willie Bryan frustrated there as he departs to the bench. Daly with the serve for fight in Irish. Again, Mount Madonna runs the quick, but Doug, right side attack by fight in Irish, speared by Mount Madonna. Left side attack, it gets wide open, that back right position wide open and gets adjusting. I think he's going to need to take something off. He's been over hitting, but right now he's given his team a 5 3 lead. Yeah, I've been saying that. Maybe he's been too over-aggressive, but I credit Daniel Fuss for making the very athletic play in the backcourt. Alvaro with the serve for Mount Madonna. Sacred Heart Cathedral hits out of the back row, dug by Mount Madonna. Left side attack, it's Getz. He goes back to that same spot, this time with a little more velocity. Mount Madonna, 6-3. Getz continuing to amp it up when he gets those opportunities. Alfaro continuing to serve for the Hawks of Watsonville. Left side attack. And it is a hitting error by Celestial. I look over at Coach Natron to see if she's going to call a timeout. She stays on the bench as Mount Madonna up 7-3. Largest lead of the match here for the Mount Madonna Hawks. Floater. Handled well by Fight and Irish. Actually, no, they have to push it over. Hawks. Left side attack, gets hits with the left hand. Fighting Irish trying to keep in play, they can't. So gets a little more control here in set two, and now Natran on her feet, calls a timeout. Mount Madonna up 8-3, and the significant crowd, if you will, from the Watsonville area has traveled for Mount Madonna on their feet. They like what they see here in set two, Michael. I was wondering where that crowd was earlier in this match. They were sitting and, uh, on their hands. Yeah, because it, 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 it was all Sacred Heart. You could see all the green. I guess they just don't have their school colors or props, if you will, to kind of separate themselves from any of the others. But uh, they're sure getting loud and letting you know that they are here and definitely uh, giving support for their Mad Mount Madonna Hawks. There's this great little collection of Mount Madonna Hawk alumni wearing their former jersey I'm looking to see i think i might see nick manoff the former sccl mvp he went on to a terrific career at stanford in the house and mount madonna is fired up sacred heart cathedral michael needs to continue to play its game right now they see more have taken on the spectator role as mount madonna right to left with the serve sacred heart cathedral running the quick Punched up by Fust. Getz goes from the left side. Dug by the libero. Left side attack from Fight and Irish. Handle off the block. Out of the back row. Hit. Hits the net. Dug by Fight and Irish. A long, long play. And reversed over by the Fight and Irish. Mount Madonna goes to work. Runs the shoot. Punched up by Fight and Irish. Left side attack. Goes down the line. Mount Madonna trying to get it to Getz left side. They do. He goes off speed, handled easily. Right side attack by the Fight in Irish. Hitting error. So what a shame. Again, it seemed like it was maybe the best set that Fight in Irish saw, but Gonzalez too much. Yeah, he was over anxious there and hit it a bit too far and wide. Hawks 9-3, another floater delivered. Pushed way over to the left side. Celestial is dug. Getz comes back. Goes angle. It's played and comes over. Mount Madonna handles it. Gets it back to Getz. Getz just camped out on the left side. Finally, too many swings. Hitting error by Getz. The fight in Irish side out as the Libera headed back to serve Minoos. Minoos catching his breath. He's been called upon quite a bit to provide defense in the back row. Problems and serve receive for Mount Madonna. There was an overpass. Sacred Heart Cathedral got it. Free ball reversed over. Manojos with the pass. Oh, 
when they have run the slide tonight, and they've run it three times, it has paid off well for the Fight Nivers. Tan with the kill this time around, his squad within four. Steven Tan with the big kill out of Pacifica, California. Served by Manojos, thought to be out by Madonna. Instead, it drops in for the untouched ace, the second of the match for Sacred Heart Cathedral. The coach's son, as his father, Gerald Manoos, one of the assistant coaches for Sacred Heart. Manoos with the dig off the Mount Madonna. Hit, free ball for Mount Madonna. Mount Madonna trying to run the quick. No, they push it off left side to Getz. Getz finding his range down the line. That's an awful lot of power. Side out, Mount Madonna. Yeah, and Getz has uh, been powerful throughout this whole match, but in the first game, he was a little over anxious with the shots, hitting him far, hitting him wide, and now, all of his ferocious shots going in for big time kills for his Mount Madonna Hawks. Well, I think I was just about to say the Fight Irish are really glad to get gets out of the front row, and, and then he serves a service error, so they're really glad. So yeah. Fight Irish within three, trailing 10-7 as the serve delivered by Gonzalez. Gets with the overhead pass off the stack. Pinball play reversed over for Fighting Irish. Fighting Irish celebrated a little too soon. Point still going on. There was another six pack on Mount Madonna right there, but play still going on. Overpass coming over. Nope, it hits the net. Fighting Irish quit too early on that play. They thought they had the kill, but great defense from Mount Madonna to side out. And actually, what I noticed there, Kirsten, was another just bad set. This time it was Gabriel Gonzalez. Uh, that's now three times tonight I've seen where they've tried to set the ball and get it in good position for their upfront hitters, but instead the set's gone too far and has been in perfect placement for Mount Madonna. And Daly with the hitting error allows Mount Madonna to get to a 12-7 lead as Alex Hooven with the hawk serve. It's a jump serve. Pass from the left back. Shoved out left. Block is there, but it's wide for Mount Madonna. And it's Celestial with the kill. Fighting Irish trailing 12-8, set number two, up one set to none, and best three out of five match. Celestial serve, pass by Getz. And running the shoot set with the kill is Brian. Brian's kind of one of those quiet players, very efficient swing, but he is working his way into that scorebook with a lot of kills. Fradiani serving for Mount Madonna, right to left in the front of the official table, up 13-8. Running the back, and the solo block by Bryan, so Bryan makes his time in the front row count. The big solo block on Stephen Tan. 14-8, Mount Madonna. Fradiani with the service error. That is the sixth of the match for Mount Madonna, again to zero aces. And those are the kind of things that just kill a momentum for a team. And we'll see how long Sacred Heart can keep the serve here for this, this game. They're down by five. Worstel in for Fighting Irish to serve. Dug by Getz. And running the quick again, Brian, the money maker for Mount Madonna, up 15-9. Yeah, Willie Bryan really adjusting to that middle backer position here as he's had some Pretty big time kills for his Hawks, and now they get the serve back up by six. Dan Fust, considered one of the best passers on the Mount Madonna team with the serve. Left side attack by Fighting Irish. Mount Madonna block is wide. Daly with the kill, the point, the side out. Nicholas Daly out of Montera, California, committed to Rutgers. He'll be playing collegiate volleyball at Rutgers. East Coast. Gets back into the front row, and that's bad news for the Fighting Irish. A sharp cross-court angle for the kill. Mount Madonna up 16-10. Gets in that left outside hitter position and comes up large for his team. And now he's barking out instructions for the rest of his up front linesmen. Brian back to serve for Mount Madonna. Right side attack by Fighting Irish. Another six pack. Right in the face of Alfaro. This one delivered by Daly. 
Yeah, Nicholas Daly, who's only been playing for a few years. He was a guy that was a standout in basketball and baseball growing up. Gets off the stack for the kill for Mount Madonna. 17-11 for the Hawks. As checking in to serve for the team from Watsonville. Or excuse me, just checking into the front row is Aguirre as Alfaro back to serve. Alfaro, the emotional leader of this Mount Madonna squad, according to his head coach. Daly shoves it over. Pass by Futz in the back row for the Hawks. Aguirre from the right side. Doug, joust. One by Mount Madonna, David Bros with the kill. Eighteen eleven, Mount Madonna lead. Alfaro serves again, punched up by Daly. And a great adjustment in the air. You see the athleticism by the Gonzalez. He is a left-hander and shoving the ball down line with the right hand. Eighteen twelve, Sacred Heart with the serve trailing. Alfaro running the quick. And that's a lift call. There was too much palmage by David Bros. Hawks don't like the call. No, they don't. And David Bros, who came up with a large kill just a couple of moments ago, and now the call goes against him, and the fans not digging it. Fighting Irish within five, but Getz gets set on the stack for the kill. 1913 Mount Madonna. And Coach Tran on her feet to call a timeout. Sacred Heart Cathedral captured set one, 24-15, but Mount Madonna is threatening a 19-13 lead. All right, fans, join us on Thursday for more boys volleyball action in Northern California as we bring you to Sac Joaquin section boys volleyball championships. The games get underway on Thursday at 5.30 p.m. in the Sac Joaquin section. Go to cifsacjoaquin.tv to see all the great games as we determine this year's section champions. These schools have met prior to this season and this game here. They've met two other times in the last four years. They met last year, March 26, 2011, Sacred Heart Cathedral scoring the two games to none win in the Charger Classic at Leland High School, 25-18, 25-14. And then they played in 2010 in the CCS tournament with Sacred Heart Cathedral winning that one in a thriller five-game match, three sets to or three games to two. Getz comes out of the timeout and gets the takedown on Manojos. Finally, Mount Madonna has an ace up 2013. Again, Getz just swinging away, whether it's in the front row or behind the service line. Again, he has a very high toss and then big jump and a big launch. Great dig by Sacred Heart Cathedral. Free ball off Mount Madonna. Nope, Getz can't reverse it over. Fighting Irish with the side out, trailing by six. Yeah, he has that exaggerated serve, and then he made a great play in the backcourt to dig it out. The ball came right back to him, and then he kind of dinked it. He didn't really get all he wanted to, talking about Getz as he hits it up against the net. Now Madonna runs the quick off the Gonzalez serve. Great dig by Manojos to keep the play alive. Mount Madonna gets out of the back row. Front row gets a hand on it. And out of the back row, Sacred Heart Cathedral. It's a lot of back row hitting here. And the block, you know, is... He's really been a, um, excuse me, Stephen Tan has really been a blocking force at the net for Fighting Irish. His squad's now within five. Yeah, Stephen Tan shows his length on the floor and gets up there. And that was a nice combination of block of him and Navarra both going up for it at the same time. Mount Madonna runs the quick. Fighting Irish handle it. Gets with the pass. Right side attack by Aguirre. They're going to stay outside the antenna. So the timeout pays off for the fight in Irish. They're now within four. And Mount Madonna needs to call a timeout to stop the bleeding, if you will. The Hawks still up 2016 in set number two. All right, folks. KBCSports.com and the Play On Sports Network showcase great high school games every week. And now you can access our content using multiple platforms. 
follow us on Facebook. Get the latest KBC and Play On news on Twitter or catch our highlights in high definition on YouTube. All of our content can now link to your favorite social media site. Share all the high school action you see every week. Brought to you by your home for high school sports, kbcsports.com. I can't hear you. Sports. I can barely hear you too, Kirsten. I've, I've told our producer, Stephen Davies, to turn you up a little bit more because it's been so loud in this gymnasium uh, between both fans. Yeah. I love this. I can hear let's go really well, but then the next word, because the Hawks fans are saying Hawks and the Irish are saying Irish. What a great atmosphere here at Dan Fukushima Fieldhouse. A terrific I'm setting. I'm looking for Seamus, though. Where's Seamus, the mascot <laughs> for Sacred Heart? Uh, maybe he uh, has to study. Out of the timeout. Fight and Irish still serving. Mount Madonna wants to put that to an end. Great dig by Daly. And that block is wide. It's Sacred Heart Cathedral on a run. Yeah, Sacred Heart getting it going. And now it'll be Gonzalez to serve. Left-hander goes again. Fust with the pass. Alfaro with the back set to Geary, who gets stuffed by Nivera and Celestial. Sacred Heart Cathedral within two. Love the concentration by Gonzalez. Moving with the pass. Gets out of the back row. Again, that front row able to get a hand on it. Great set dug by Mount Madonna. Here comes Fust. Punched up. Reversed over. Free ball for the Hawks. Alfaro trying to keep it playable and Aguirre with a kill from the right side. Boy, did Mount Madonna need that. And there must be something wrong with the floor here. Well, no, he fell down. He was doing the chicken stretching to dry it up. But we found it. There is a towel present if they need it. Mount Madonna serving 21-18. Minoos with the pass. Mount Madonna can't let Fight and Irish back in here. And the Fight and Irish shooting themselves in the foot with a bad serve receive. 22-18 Hawks. Every point so contested by these two squads. Alex Hooven goes again. Service error, seventh of the match for the Hawks. Now Madonna, I'm sure that has to be killing Coach P.K. McDonald right now. He's probably tracked every one of those in his little book that he's holding in his hand. <laughs> what a coach. Mount Madonna, serve, receive. Brian gets blocked. We haven't said that a lot tonight, but Stephen Tan puts the kibosh on Brian. Stephen Tan, so tall. Mount Madonna, that's coming over. They wanted a back row call. But it doesn't matter. The Fighting Irish coaches wanted a back row attack call, but you got to like how Sacred Heart Cathedral has pulled within 22 21. Mount Madonna led 19 13. Now a slim one point lead. Yeah, and they, you know, they're lucky that the ball deflected off someone from Mount Madonna. And that's what have, uh, enabled them to then touch the ball once again and get that hit. Had, they, had the ball not been touched by Mount Madonna, there would have been too many touches on the floor there for Sacred Heart. So um, right now, a timeout called on the floor. And we'll see how both schools can come out of this one. It looks like Sacred Heart has the momentum coming out of this break. But like I said, not only the contrast in schools that, we're, that we've seen here tonight, but also the coaching style. As Natran just so calm and confident, taking a seat on the bench. Meanwhile, you have P.K. McDonald standing the whole time with his notebook, tracking down notes. I have that both teams have used their times timeouts. The scoreboard still has one for Fighting Irish. I'm not sure that is correct, but out of the timeout, the Fighting Irish, it's Celestial with the serve, his team down by one. Alfaro keeping it playable, and Aguirre gets blocked. Nicholas Daly ties this up 22-22. Like I was saying earlier about Nicholas Daly, just started playing volleyball in high school, and he's really taken a liking to it and has shown that he's pretty talented at it as well. Alfaro runs the quick to Brian. 
And the kill by Tan. Mount Madonna is telegraphing everything. And now the Fight in Irish has its first lead of the set number two. 23-22. Celestial serves again. Gets with the pass. Left side attack. It's fussed. Minoos is there running the quick. It's Tan. Tan with the kill. And can you believe it? Set point. Fighting Irish. What a comeback. And that's just the Fighting Irish living up to their name. Fighting back, Kirsten. And we'll see if they can close it out right now. But Stephen Tam telling his team, let's go. And we'll see if they can close it out. Celestial with the serve. Gets with the pass. Mount Madonna only down by two. Brian goes tip. Covered by Fighting Irish. Aguirre has to set. Runs the quick to Fust. Good coverage there. Tan miss hits. But it's played off the net. Can you believe it? Hawks. Can they close it out? Brian with authority. Still set point for the Fighting Irish. And what a play. Tan with the hitting error gets played off the net. You don't see that very often. No, you don't. He got saved by the net and allowed the Sacred Heart Fighting Irish to stick in there a little bit longer. And for Mount Madonna, it ended up still being a point for them. Mount Madonna with the dig. And an illegal set called an all far away. A terrible way for Mount Madonna to end set number two. Well, we're going to have to see how much heart this Hawks team has because that one hurt. Lost the first game 25-16, led throughout. You have to admire the fight in the Fighting Irish 25-23. Coach P.K. McDonald's got a whole lot of coaching to do in this break. Yeah, he does. There's a lot to be said to his team. And maybe he'll bring up the fact that, hey, do I need to bring up the fact that I was on the last uh, CCS title team or what? You guys don't want to go down with at least picking up one game in this uh, in this match. This is, a, this is for everything. This is for all the marbles. And I'm sure he, he's reiterating that fact of, of pride right now. You know, no one likes to get swept in volleyball and, and and no one want likes to play poorly and right. Mount Madonna is truly being outplayed in this match. Like you said, Sacred Heart is running a lot of a lot more plays and I think that's benefiting them. You know, uh, Mount Madonna maybe needs to get to that. You know, you're starting to see that X formation as you were saying from Sacred Heart really working for them. Maybe Mount Madonna can start playing uh, with some, some set plays instead of just hitting the ball up there and giving it to Getz. Seems like they want to run the whole team by Getz and one man's not going to win. In this, uh, in this game that's a, a team game. So, folks, if you need a highlight video for your athlete, if, if, if he or she is working to earn that four-year scholarship, then you want to contact kbcsports.com. We can provide recruiting video for any athlete in any sport. And not only that, but we give you your own recruiting page right on our website. No more mailing DVDs to colleges. That's something from the old ages. Instead, email coaches a link to your personal page. For more information, including pricing, contact us at recruits at kbcsports.com or call us at area code 619-677-3246. Sacred Heart. Some other tidbits about the school. Well, you know the colors, green, white, and they also have a little bit of blue in their colors. You can see it on their Fighting Irish logo and on the back of their jerseys. Their newspaper is called the Emerald. Their yearbook is called the Shamrock. Tuition to go to that school pretty pricey 14,900 roughly uh, a year per student at Sacred Heart Cathedral but the difference in sports is just overwhelming 22 teams 55 sports at Sacred Heart three teams two sports at Mount Madonna well you and I both had a chance to be at the state championship or CCS or NorCal's for the Sacred Heart Cathedral girls and boys basketball teams that boys championship game such a heartbreaker but right now the Sacred Heart Cathedral boys they've got some room to spare playing with a two nothing lead and I, I think the biggest weakness that I have seen from Mount Madonna is they have not been able to establish another threat on the outside behind besides gets when they run the middle Brian has been doing that admirably they have not been able to establish an outside attack other than gets and Sacred Heart Cathedral has been able to do that. I like what you brought up earlier about the uh, you know the other sports going on at Sacred Heart Cathedral. 
as uh, that was a question that was asked to head coach Notran, one of her players on the volleyball team, Herman Pratt, was a member of that basketball team that won NorCal's and went to state. And she was asked by BayPreps.com what she felt about you know Sacred Heart doing so well this year in athletics and if that's helped the team. And she said, of course, you know the, the, the players on her team feed off of the success that they've had in other sports uh, on, on campus this year. And just the fact that Sacred Heart this year has really put together such a strong athletic season from all their sports combined. It's really fed off and given this volleyball team the energy it needs to not only propel towards uh, through to WCAL, but also through the CCS playoff bracket. And uh, also, I just want to quickly point out to this, uh, say, uh, the Sacred Heart Irish fans that are watching, congratulations to both uh, Johns and, and Fox uh, from that team. And we'll hear from a little more about that later as Mount Madonna serves first. Gets with the pass. Fuss from the left side off the block. Manoos with the pass going dump. Great read by Brian. Attack is wide. Mount Madonna sides out first. And go ahead and finish your thought. I was just going to say congratulations to uh, the two players, Johns and Fox from Sacred Heart, as they will both be playing at UC Riverside basketball next year together. That's right. And Marcus Vazara, member of the Fighting Irish team, will play tennis at UC Riverside in the fall. Fighting Irish on defense, trailing one nothing. That slide has worked all day long. Tan with the kill, ties it up at one. I'm surprised Mount Madonna's not even been able to get a block up on it. It's hard to do that when Steven Tan, 6'3", they, they don't have much tall guys on Mount Madonna. They do have Ryan Alfaro, but he's mo mainly a setter. So he's never really up front to try to combat Tan. Jarek Savati into the game, the match for the first time for Fighting Irish and a hitting error by Sacred Heart Cathedral as Savati D has a seat and it's Fust back to serve. Fust and his teammates need to step up. Trailing 2 0 in this match. The six foot junior serving 2 1. Left side attack. Block is there. Setter swings, and you got to love that if you're a Navarra fan. The setter swinging away, getting a kill in the book and tying things up at two. And he's got a big old smile on his face as he steps back to serve. Gets. Can't handle it. Hitting air. 3-2. Fighting Irish. P.K. McDonald, the head coach of Mount Madonna, making some adjustments in his serve-receive. Alfaro, big miscommunication there with Brian. 4-2, fight in Irish. Mount Madonna's got to put up a stiffer fight than this. Alfaro, running the quick with Brian. That has been money, and really, with the, with the exception of a brief run of kills by Getz, that's been the only positive spot in this Mount Madonna offense has been Brian, and unfortunately now for Hawks fans, he takes a seat on the bench. He does not play in the back row. Willie Bryan, whose mom is one of the board of directors at Mount Madonna School. Fradiani, the six-foot junior outside in to serve. His team down by one, two sets to none. Nivera with the back set, it's a beauty. Into the net, Al Mount Madonna. Bros into the net, so the kill stands. 5-3, fighting Irish. And actually, head coach McDonald's mom is also one of the other board of directors at Mount Madonna School. Fust with the pass, here comes Getz. Tight, tight set, great pancake by the fighting Irish. Bump set, Getz is going to have another tight one. It's blocked, but good coverage. Fust out of the back row, hitting error. And I thought Getz had put that one on the floor, but I guess a great defensive save was made by Sacred Heart. Coach McDonald saying, really? But I would love a good pancake. No matter which team is delivering it. Service error, only the first since game one. For the fight in Irish, as Aguirre checks into the front row, Alfaro will set out of the back row as he serves his team down by two. Off the X, 
And hitting error, a rare one by the Fighting Irish. Really, the Fighting Irish has not had, they have not had a lot of hitting errors tonight. No, they have not. They've played very sound. You can tell this team plays together as a team. Alfaro with the pass, gets out of the back row, Fust, punch up on by Noos. And it sounded like a whistle blew, another hitting error. So consecutive hitting errors by the Fight and Irish allow this set number three to be tied up at six. Alongside Michael Smith, I'm Kirsten Fairchild. You're watching the Central Coast Section Division II Boys Volleyball Championships. Fight and Irish on the right side out of San Francisco gets stopped. On the block, Bros and Bryan. Yeah, that was a nice combination block there. Mount Madonna, Madonna needed that. Yeah, up 7-6. Great spear by Aguirre, but Afaro cannot adjust. 7-7, seven, seven, Sacred Heart Cathedral. No O's with a serve. Hooven with the pass. Gets right side, block is there. Aguirre swings away and Aguirre with the kill. And Alfaro saying, fight and Irish was into the net. No call and back and forth we go now. As Gets back to serve, so Gets really not able to make his presence filled with with the three rotations. He's had a couple net. service errors so far tonight. That one was good though. Running the quick. That's not gonna come over. Four hits on Mount Madonna. Eight, eight. This is Gonzalez. Hooven with a pass. Alfaro, no communication, no talking. Gets can't play it. Third ace of the match for the Fighting Irish. Gets nearly lunging into his team's bench there, trying to handle that one. Mount Bit Madonna really, really in trouble here. Down 9 8. Alfaro, here's Aguirre, right side. Minoos punches it up. Tan with a kill. Fuss, left side, hitting air. No, it went over and left called on the fight in Irish. I didn't see that clear. We're tied back at nine. So back and forth we go. Brian checks into the front row for Mount Madonna as Alex Hooven comes in. See, it seems like Brian's been a favorite target of Alfaro tonight. Coming over, and Aguirre punishes it. So a nice minutes out on the floor, if you will, for Aguirre here in set number three. 10-9, Mount Madonna. Great pass. Tan gets dug, however, by Alfaro. Gets out of the back row. Does not clear. And it's 10-10. Here in set number three, sophomore Celestial is Nontran checking the server. Nontran in her seventh year as the head coach. She is from the Michigan area, was a setter and defensive specialist in high school. Especially of late, you've seen some pretty good improvement throughout the past four years. Now actually, excuse me, we're checking the substitutions. Our referee number two, Chris Lee, speaking with PK McDonald. Take a look at the last three seasons under Natran for Sacred Hearts, going six and 18 in 2009. Uh, still getting a berth into the CCS. They lost in the quarterfinals three games to nothing to Harker. Then in 2010, they improved to 10 and 16, losing to St. Francis in the first round of the CCS, three games to nothing. And then last year, going 23 and 12, a big time jump from 09 to 10, or uh, uh, 10 to 2011, losing to once again their, their rivals, St. Ignatius, three games to nothing in the CCS semifinals. So some substitution issues for the 
offensive table. I always say one of the most difficult high school sports jobs is to keep track of the substitutions in volleyball and also run the shot clock in basketball. 10-10 the score as a very concerned P.K. McDonald looks on. He is assisted by Nate Rockhold, the former Soquel boys volleyball coach. And uh, P.K. McDonald asking for a warning. There could be, as we uh, perhaps you heard over a microphone, that may result, that could have resulted in a point, but it did not. So warning stands for Mount Madonna. Not waiting for the substitution. Aguirre asking for a touch. Fighting Irish with 11-10 lead. We have not had a touch called. Actually, they're going to reverse that. So that would be the first. Well, I think even the official table uncertain what happened there. So point goes to the Hawks. So the lines person overrules a touch was called. And Aguirre in to serve, and Mount Madonna did not wait for the whistle. <laughs> Mount Madonna, it's the last match of the season. No matter what, you would think that uh, obviously nerves are coming into play as Aguirre. Coach McDonald knows his team's on the brink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good serve by Aguirre. Left side attack, block is there, combination. Assist for Brian and Alfaro. Yeah, you talk, about, you talk about a six-pack or a facial, if you will. Ryan Navarra took one hard off the face there. Senior setter, 5'6". Off the slide, finally. Mount Madonna gets a block up off the slide. Gets out of the back row. They need him. It doesn't clear. Fight and Irish side out, 12-11. Then they trail. It doesn't clear because of Stephen Tan, who has the potential to be one of the great players to ever play for Sacred Heart. Only a junior this year. You can imagine the kind of attention he'll be getting from colleges next year as a senior. Five foot eleven, Savati in to serve. Left side attack by Futz. Coverage is there. Out of the back row. Farah should not have played that. Fighting Irish. Tie it up at 12. Mount Madonna needs some chatter out on the floor. Their fans have plenty of it in the stands. Mount Madonna needs to communicate. Alfaro should never have gone for that. Jake Getz was communicating earlier in this match, and I don't know if he's lost he all steam. I think he's saving his energy. He can't save it. He has no time to save it. He's in desperation I mode. I know, but he expends a lot of energy on his serve, on his, uh, his, his swinging style. Getting up. He's got some hops. 12-12. Savati. Hooven with the pass. Brian goes off speed. And into the net, called on the fight in Irish. So Mount Madonna needs all they can get, and they'll take that as Fuss back to serve up 13-12. Tan checks back in for the fight in Irish, as well as Manojos. Yeah, you're right. Receiving breaks is going to be large in this, what could be deciding third game here, and they're hoping it's not. Talking about Mount Madonna, they want to extend this match to a little bit longer. Block for Mount Madonna. Called wide, fight and Irish. So back tied up at 13. You are watching CIF Central Coast TV's coverage of the Boys Volleyball Championships D2. Mount Madonna top seed, but trailing is Brian uncontested on the right side. Back and forth, we go in set number three. Sacred Heart Cathedral won the first two, a tail of two different sets. Won the first 24-15, but then trailed throughout game two, and then eked it out 25-23. Fradiani serving. Mount Madonna up 14-13. Fradiani with the jump serve. Middle run by the fight in Irish. Here comes Getz, left side. Goes line, that's where he found his success in set number two is line, and that paid off for him there. And now we'll see if they can take this two-point advantage a little bit longer, uh, you know, do something with it. 
They can't just give it up so quickly back to Sacred Heart. Floater from Fradiani. It's a service error. Ninth of, excuse me, eighth of the match for eighth Mount error, Madonna. Eighth service error. Eighth service error of the match for Mount Madonna. Eighth error alone would be bad, but eighth service error is horrendous. Daly with the serve for the Fighting Irish running the quick. Right side attack. Doesn't clear. Now, well, I didn't think that cleared, but instead Mount Madonna's block was wide, so that ties it up at 15. Sacred Heart Cathedral just 10 points away from celebrating its first ever CCS title. Great play by Alfaro to keep it alive. Free ball for the fight in Irish. Right side attack, nobody home. The campfire circle lit by the hit by Gonzalez. Coach McDonald asking about timeout usage. No one's called a timeout in this set number three, but an ace from the fight in Irish, the fourth of the match. Sacred Heart Cathedral looking to pull off the upset and win its first CCS boys volleyball title in the school's history up 17-15, two sets to none over the top seeded Mount Madonna Hawks. Well, folks, if Sacred Heart can pull it off in this game, they'll win three games to nothing, and that'll set us up for our CIF Central Coast.TV post-game show where we will select our player of the game as well as wrap up all the action from this exciting Central Coast Section Division II boys volleyball matchup. That's coming up following this game right here on CIF Central Coast.TV. And whatever comes out of this match for Mount Madonna, at least they know that they have done pretty well in the classroom. Last year, the team won the 2011 CCS Scholastic Championship Team Award, and it's pretty much the exact same members that are on this year's team that were on last year's team. Head coach PK McDonald saying about the award last year, it was a testament to these players' work ethic and positive character. The success the team enjoyed on the court last year was a direct result of the work ethic they put into it. Winning or losing any game will have very little effect on these player lives, but the work ethic and character they have shown on the court and in the classroom will take them far. Daly with the serve, two point lead for the fight in Irish. Here comes Getz, left side. It didn't clear, 18-15. And that was Long and Gonzalez getting up there to combine for a vicious block on Jake Getz. Getz off the stack. And once Solo again. block by Celestial. Another block, this time it's Celestial. You talk about players that could be great in Sacred Heart. What about Jarrell Celestial, who's been on varsity ever since his freshman year, which was last year? Time only a out sophomore. on the floor, Michael, is Sacred Heart Cathedral of 1915. And Mount Madonna, wow, I, I, I really feel their frustration. It's so evident. Um, I think they just are in a nightmare situation right now. They aren't playing well. They aren't passing well. They're telegraphing their sets and they have way too many hitting and serving errors. And I guess there's some consolation of being outplayed when you've played your best, but there is no consolation of being outplayed when you did not play your best. Well, you know, I, I, I had a strong feeling, once again, I keep referencing back to that BayPreps.com interview just because I didn't get to interview head coach Notre Dame myself, but I have a strong feeling that after that 2 nothing loss that she suffered to Mount Madonna earlier this year, she learned a lot about that team. And she strikes me as the type of gal that is really going to, you know, drill into that team. I, I, I see her being a great preparation coach because she has seemed like she knows exactly what's coming at every point in time from Mount Madonna as her team has been ready every step of the way, especially Tan up front on the blocks. Back to action. Gets left side Mount Madonna. And there we go. The block there. That's interesting you say that because, because when I asked Coach Tran what she was worried about most about Mount Madonna before this match, that she said, we never know where the attack is coming from. They have known exactly where the attack is coming from, and that was evidence there. Alfaro well timed up, and he's trying to get fired up. They need him to get fired up. He's the emotional leader of the squad, and he's barely said a word. He will now serve his team trailing 2016, just five points away from a 
depressing car ride home. You could hear Coach McDonald coaching. Great dig, nobody moves. Aguirre keeps it alive, but barely, and they're gonna call a double on him. I think that kind of sums up Mount Madonna's night. Good intentions, but then the feet just won't move. They've hit, they've hit it hard when they haven't wanted to do that. They've hit it soft when they haven't wanted to do that. They've made errors. It has just been a very frustrating night for the Hawks. Geary shoves it over into the net on the fight in Irish. Sides out for Mount Madonna, 21-17 as gets back to serve. Boy, if they ever need him to dish him up right now. It's off this big jump serve. It should be racking up points. He has been erratic tonight at best. There's a beauty, but great dig by Manojos. Shoved over. Alfaro sends it over. So one touch, right side attack. And it hits Hooven. It's going to be a touch on Hooven. Fighting Irish sides out 22 17. Hooven looked afraid to go up against that kill. Either that or he's trying to stay away from contact as he felt that it could have been nearing out of bounds area. But either case, the ball does deflect off Hooven. And now a five point swing here. 22 17, Fighting Irish. Tight set. Aguirre goes anyways. Manoa sends it over. Now Madonna into the net. They're saying that Bros followed through into the net. I didn't see it. Nevertheless, Fight and Irish up 23-17 after the call. David it, Bros can't figure out the call and Yeah. Gonzalez. Floater just trickles over. Bros sets. Gets. Out of the back row, behind the 10-foot line, gets with a kill. Mount Madonna, their backs against the wall, two points away from a crushing defeat. Can Alex Hooven rack up some points on his serve? Senior goes to work. Noos with a pass. He has passed well tonight. Left side attack. Nobody home. Block can't get a hand on it. Celestial, the sophomore, gives his team championship point. First ever in school history championship point. And Celestial to serve. This could be it. Sacred Heart fans on their feet. Gets out of the back row. Left side attack. Block is there. Match point number two. And Willie Bryan says, not yet. Not just yet. 24-19. Mount Madonna will have to serve five in a row off the hand of the freshman, Pedro Aguirre. No pressure for the Frosh. Championship point number two. Off the slide. Off speed. Gets. Hitting error. Sacred Heart Cathedral has done it. The Fighting Irish pull off the upset. The number three seed in three sets defeat the top seeded Mount Madonna Hawks 25-16, 25-23, 25-19. Congratulations to Na Tran and her entire squad for bringing back tomorrow morning the first ever CCS championship banner in boys volleyball. Yeah, Na Tran, who has just done a phenomenal job with her team. And she'll go down in the history books at Sacred Heart Cathedral as maybe the greatest coach because she was the one that got the boys' volleyball team their first ever section title. The 2012 Sackwalk, uh, Central Coast section title going to Sacred Heart Cathedral for the Division II. And these players are very ecstatic, the fans as well. And Na Tran getting big hugs from trainers and players alike out there on the floor. Mount Madonna finishes its season at 24 and eight, eight losses on a season. I'm sure none as bitter as this one. Sacred Heart Cathedral conversely picks up its 25th win, 25 and 12, coming out of a three-way tie of third place of the West Catholic Athletic League. Both sets of fans on their feet. The fighting Irish stunned at this point. A lot of stunned looks on their faces. 
Well, you know what? Uh, it can easily be said that Sacred Heart could have given up all hope after losing the West Catholic Athletic League title, but they earned a spot into the CCS, and they won that. And, you know, they, they're they very happy with the results. And, I, I, you know, I know when I brought it up earlier, you said it didn't have any effect on Mount Madonna, but I, I'm still going to contest this to, the, to right now that I think that they they do have that feeling hanging over them of that West Catholic Athletic League supremacy. It's now two times, two years in a row that they've made it to the title game, and it's been a team from the West Catholic Athletic League that has beat them quite soundly. And uh, I'm sure they have to have that feeling of when will we ever get these guys going through their heads as much as they'd like to ignore it. It was a true team effort by the Fighting Irish of Sacred Heart Cathedral of San Francisco, capturing a three-set victory. On behalf of my partner today, Michael Smith, our producer, Stephen Davies, our cameraman, James Davies, we'd like to thank the Central Coast section, including Steve Filios, who is here today, and the president, Nancy Lazenby Blazer, and a big thanks to all the folks at Independent High School who have been so hospitable to us here at the Dan Fukushima Fieldhouse. Again, Sacred Heart Cathedral of San Francisco taking home the first ever CCS title, a boys D2 championship over the Mount Madonna Hawks. I'm Kirsten Fairchilds. We will have our player of the game, our play on sports player of the game. You have been watching CIF Central Coast TV, part of the play on high school sports network. A 7.30 start is scheduled for the D1 match. Third seeded Bellarmine taking on top seeded St. Francis Lancers of Mountain View, two schools that know each other so very well. Bellarmine out of San Jose upsetting second seeded Mountain View a few days ago. This one has been a pleasure from start to finish. Sacred Heart Cathedral showing they were the best D2 team in 2012. So long everyone from San Jose, good night. Yeah,
Yeah, Nicholas Daly's perfect choice. Check, check. Michael Smith, how am I sounding? How about, uh, let's check with Nick. Is he uh, sounding good? Uh, I'm Nick. I don't know. Check. Hello? Uh, can you? Hello? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Sure. Whenever we're ready. All right, folks, welcome to our Player of the Game interview. I am Michael Smith, and I'm pleasured to be joined by our Player of the Game, Nicholas Daly from the Central Coast Section Division II Championship winning Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep Fighting Irish. How does that all sound, Nick? It's a mouthful, but it sounds good. <laughs> Nick, you've, uh, you're one of those very interesting stories, not only for the way you've played the game tonight, but just your whole makeup, your background, everything I've studied about you. Let's talk about tonight's game, though, first. Uh, you you know, we picked you because we really felt that uh, you had some great sets, uh, some great, uh, you know, passes in order to kind of give your front linesman, uh, you know, good, good enough touch to really spike the ball. You guys ran good plays. Um, what were you seeing out there from Mount Madonna that was allowing you to play so effectively? Um... We study our, t our opponents a lot, and uh, that really helped when we were playing them tonight. Um, we keyed up on their main hitters, and we were putting up solid blocks, so it was pretty easy to play defense around that. Did you feel that you learned something after the match that you guys had previous uh, this year in, in the regular season when they beat you 2 nothing in a, in a quick tournament game? Uh, yeah, at the first tournament, first time we played them at the tournament, uh, we weren't all ready, but tonight we came out and we came fired up and we took the win. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you guys have had such success this year as a school. Uh, you know, your basketball team did well, both boys and girls. Football team's done well. You guys have really just athletically have done well. Has that kind of rubbed off on the volleyball team and said, you know what, if they're winning championships, we got to bring one back too? Yeah, we were trying to get support from our, our uh, school, and they came out tonight, and that really helped us pull through. And, you know, I just find it so interesting that it was 
not until high school when you took a liking to this game and started playing it. You were a basketball star, and you kind of gave that up and pursued volleyball instead. How was the transition? Was it quite hard at first? Uh, it was actually pretty easy, but I originally joined volleyball to jump higher for basketball, but I just fell in love with the sport. Yeah, and I noticed that uh, the club team that most of uh, the teammates for Sacred Heart Cathedral play for is Slancha, which means cheers in Irish, and I say cheers to you on the win. Uh, really, I mean, you've played on this varsity team since you were a sophomore. Um, you guys have come up close. You've you made it to CCS every year, but just unfortunate to get to the title game and win the big one. Uh, How does it feel now as a senior? This is your last game you're ever, you've ever pl you're ever going to play for your Sacred Heart uh, Cathedral Prep Fighting Irish. Uh, just any lasting memories on, on what you're going to take from high school and volleyball in general? Uh, I'm going to remember all my teammates from over the years because they've really helped shape me as a player and my coaches for all their support. And yeah. Speaking of coach, uh, any last thoughts on Coach Tran? I mean, she's done such a phenomenal job. It seems like she just keeps improving year by year by year. What are your thoughts on her as a coach? Oh, she's a great coach. She's really helped push this program, and she started it up. And now we're winning her first CCS championship. So, a couple yeah. more quick hitters, and then I'll let you go celebrate with the rest of your team. You guys this year um, achieving something even what some would say even more important than a CCS title. Although I, I highly doubt it. The first one in school history. I don't think anything tops that. But you guys were uh, you had the highest cumulative grade point average in California. How's that feel together as an athletic squad? I feel it's really good. Um, academics come first for our team and I'm really glad that we were able to get that. And I'm just amazed that throughout all this you still find time to be an active force in the community as you uh, have participated in a lot of school events to help the less fortunate and you even helped some people out in Uganda. Can you tell us more about that? Um, well, the Uganda was for a local youth group and uh, we raised money and awareness for that to build a well, and that really helped out their community. And for school, every year we have uh, different um, activities and service learning projects that we go on just to reach out and help the community, and it's really helpful and good for us to do. And last but not least, uh, it has been told by Coach Tran that you're going to be going to the University of Rutgers to continue your college endeavors and also play volleyball, I take it, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations, Nicholas Daly. We couldn't have picked a better person, really, uh, both on the court and off the court for today's player of the game. You guys win the first ever CCS title in boys volleyball for your school, a feat that's going to live on for from, from here on out for, for the rest of uh, time in the city of San Francisco and mo more, more specifically at your school. And uh, it's something that you could cherish and take with you for the rest of your life. So thank you so much for playing so hard out there. And uh, tell congratulations to the rest of your team for us, huh? Thank you. All right, folks, once again, this is Nicholas Daly, tonight's player of the game. You're listening to another production here on CIF.TV. Thank you. Thank you.